what is happening with your person right now how are they feeling at the moment also before we start i wanted to let y'all know that i am raffling a jeffree star palette the nude palette okay um <clears throat> The ticket cost five dollars. If y'all are interested, okay, um, there will be fifty spots available. Mind you, the palette itself costs about um, I keep forgetting how much, but it's I think sixty three dollars and shipping shipping plus shipping and handling it costs a in total eighty eight dollars. Now, so whoever wins, I will be email. Um, I will be shipping the winner's palette to their address to wherever they live. I will need y'all's address um, to ship y'all's palette. Is the nude Jeffree Star palette? It's the um, big um, palette. I will be receiving my palette in these days so I could show y'all what palette it is. Okay, so, so, uh, let's get right straight to the reading. Your Pisces, today I will start off with your reading. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for Pisces? <coughs> Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for Pisces? So, we have the Four of Swords. So, I don't know if my camera is focusing. Okay, now it is. Um, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out. Um, one more card, Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. So with the Four of Swords, someone's resting. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like someone is thinking about, um, and then the Devil. Interesting. Since we have the Devil, I'm going to be using my deck that um, to see what's what's the real tea, what's really going on, and the Eight of Wands. Because remember, um, the Devil represents lots of things okay so we have the four swords before we get there before i use another different deck i'm going to use a deck that i bought i mean i'm going to use a deck that i made myself <clears throat> a deck that i made myself okay so let's see guardian angels what other messages do you have for my pisces in regard of this situation so we have um the four of swords we have the will of fortune and the devil card remember the devil card could talk about many things um like being obsessive um we have friend zoned so pisces i feel like this is a person who's possibly thinking about you okay um, with the four swords and the wheel of fortune they're thinking about maybe possibly coming forward but with the devil card like I said it can mean a lot of things this person could one more chance so this person could be toxic my dear Pisces they just want one more chance they want you to give them one more opportunity <clears throat> and then we have I am healing okay so this could be you and or your person there could have been a fallout okay so and then we have homeless so take that how that and then we have you deserve better <clears throat> and homeless okay so take that how that resonates we do have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck so i feel like this person doesn't want to email you um text you come forward you know see you whatnot okay so so I bought this beautiful deck and um oh this fell out we have scrub we have scrub no car and then we have beware toxic okay and we had the devil um I do feel like Pisces this person is, is in their head about you they are obsessed they want to come forward I do see them 
possibly coming forward before we go i'm going to use this soul truth deck that i just bought it's so beautiful i love it so this deck um will help you think about something that you may need to think about okay so let's use this deck to end your reading my dear pisces so but this person like i said does have feelings for you you could have um you could have um, cut them off for being toxic, for being whatnot, okay? They could have problems with their money at this moment. You could be healing about the situation or they are. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what advice or general messages do you have? Do you have for my Pisces? I'm going to get one card. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, give me one card for Pisces. So we have, am I apologizing for my truth? Am I apologizing for my truth? Okay, and then we have we have this little um, message, and I'll be reading it for you, Pisces. Okay, we have, what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today's soul action. Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. Um, that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra is courage is contagious, my dear Pisces. So I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Mm -hmm. I thank you so much. Ciao. Hello, my dear Cancers. I will be checking in on your, on your person, how they're feeling about you today. I'll be you, um, and then I'll be using my um, deck that I created, and then. Some beautiful advice or general message from your guardian angels at the end of your reading. The first card we have is the Five of Cups. What messages do you have for my dear Cancers, guardian angels, and spirit guides? <clears throat> Five of Cups. So someone could be feeling um, sad. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, someone could be wanting to come forward, my dear um Cancers with an apology. One more card, Guardian Angels. One more card. So we have the Sun card. So you could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> <clears throat> And then at the bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. So this person wants reconciliation. This person could have been, could be a friend. Also, that's what I'm feeling. Um, they do want to offer you something. They do want to come back and talk back with you. Um, also, I mean, you could take it how it resonates. This could be your energy. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. One more message for Cancer. I'm using my deck now. This is the deck I created. We have ADHD. So these are like some random messages that I got. ADHD. So this person can have ADHD or someone near you. One more card. So we have trying to make a make up a lie. So this card when depressed. So someone's depressed. This could be you. Um, again, we have the five of cups talks about feeling sad, but then we have the sun card. So you could be coming out of feeling sad, or internally you're feeling depressed and you may be wanting to show a strong face you know show a courageous face so take it how it resonates but someone here is feeling sad and depressed and then we have sexy lips and i think you have some sexy lips 
this, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm getting. That's how your person is feeling. Someone here is sad. They want to come forward. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could be a friend or someone in your environment that you know. Now I'll be using this deck, The Soul's Truth. These are some beautiful decks and um, advice from your guardian angels. Guardian angels and spirit guides, what advice do you have or general message do you have for my cancers? So, yeah, they're trying to make up a lie, especially with the Page of Pentacles. So, the Page of Pentacles talks about, like, coming back and saying, hey, I'm sorry, okay? So, I feel like that's what my card is trying to say, that they're trying to come back but make up a lie. So, just be careful with that. We have one card. We have, what excuses am I making right now? <clears throat> What excuses am I making right now? Okay, so it says, we have a little message at the back. It says, no more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. So you may be procrastinating about something. Your guardian angels are um, telling you it's time to move. It's time to make a move. Okay, we have today's soul's action. If, if it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart. You will be led. All right, my dear Cancers, I thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To Lexi's Tarot Card Reading, I thank you. Ciao. Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading. I'll be checking into your person's energy. I'll be using three cards and then my deck and then a general message from your guardian angels. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guys, what messages do you have for my Scorpios? Okay, two ones to come out reverse. Let's continue. Lots of messages want to come out. Ooh. My, my, my. I'm going to shuffle. We had the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. So, Scorpio, someone wants to come forward and give you some kind of communication. This could be a, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and Air sign. And then we have the High Priestess. What the High Priestess, what is telling me is that you possibly know this person. Okay? And you possibly may know what they want to talk to you about. Okay? So, yes, yeah, someone around you, someone you know, wants to talk to you, wants to clear out, clear out the air or talk about a situation. We have two more cards, and I'm going to take it. Three more cards. They came out together. We have the Knight of Swords. So, very fast moving person. So, someone could have fucked up. That's what I'm getting, possibly. It doesn't have to be. But what I'm getting here with the Knight of Swords is very fast movement. So, this person is not walking. It, this person is running towards you because they really need to speak something their truth or just they need to tell you something very important and then the next card we have is the knight of pentacles and then the star card so what i'm getting here is that this person wants to possibly reconcile or just tell you that they wish to take things slowly um and then at the bottom of the, of the deck, we do. Uh, <laughs> at the at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. So again, yes, yeah, someone could have fucked up, you know. So that's what I'm getting. I'm gonna use my deck now to get to get a message, to get more messages for you. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? For my Scorpios, what messages do you have, Guardian Angels? So we have witchcraft on you. So um, they may be contemplating on doing some witchcraft on you if you do not, um, you know, accept their proposal. One card fell and we have you are still on my mind. So this person is obsessing. Three cards fell on the floor. We have STD alert, 
And then we have asocial. So asocial, asocial means like someone who doesn't go out, doesn't like to um, socialize. And then we have family issues. So for some for, for some of you, be careful because there's a, a, an STD alert, okay? Which means that they could possibly have an STD because you know they like to sleep around or they could end up getting one if you know this person likes to sleep around and then we have only you at the bottom of the deck for so for some of you they are asocial they don't like to go out or whatnot like sleep around like that but for some others of you this person likes to do that so now i'm going to get a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides to see what general message advice they have for you guardian angels and spirit guides what general message do you have for my dear scorpios okay one wanted to come out but let's just let's see which one flies out Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for Scorpio? These are like very beautiful messages. They encourage you to, you know, think about um, good ways in improving your life. You know, it's just like a reminder, okay? Give me one message for my Scorpios, please. One message, please, Guardian Angels. Please give me a message for my Scorpios. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, give me a message. One message for my Scorpios. So we have... Name the things you love. Okay, my dear Scorpio. And we have a little message in the back. It says, are you one of them? Today's mantra, I give myself all the love and attention I need. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, my dear Scorpios, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. I thank y'all. Mm, ciao. Hello, my Libra. Welcome to your reading. Today, I'll be checking into your person's energy to see how they're feeling about you. Guardian angels and spirit guides, give me a message for Libra. For Libra. So, we have the Five of Cups. This person could be feeling sad. Um, my dear Libra, or you could be, then we have the Empress, this person could be a mother or someone in your life who is like a mother figure, um, former card. So this person may want some growth with you. We have two, no three. Give me one more card, Guardian Angels. So there could be, um, like... A stagnation period going on with this Empress and Five of Cups. The Empress talks about um, growth moving forward, but with the Five of Cups, I feel like that's not happening at this moment. Give me one more card, Guardian Angels. So the next card we have is the World card. So I feel like someone here decided to move on to close this chapter with this World card. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So someone could have been ghosted or someone ghosted you. Um, <clears throat> I feel like someone decided to walk away um, to close this chapter. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So let's use my deck to get more messages. Guardian Angels, give me more messages for Libra and their person one more card one card okay So we have, this is very interesting. So we have want to commit. We have want to commit. We have I hit abusive. 
Um, then we have Making Plants. And then we have In Love. And then we have Wishing Upon a Star. And last but not least, at the bottom of the deck, we have um, Confused. Okay? So, this person, they do want to commit. They want to come back into your life. They're wishing upon a star for things to work out their way. But we did have the I hit in abuse and I am abusive. So, be careful with that. Now, to end your reading, my dear Libra. I'm going to get a message from your guardian angels. Guardian angels and spirit guys, what messages do you have for Libra today? What messages do you have for Libra today? What messages do you have for my dear Libra? Guardian angels and spirit guides. What messages? Okay. Okay. We have, do I believe I am worthy? And then we have a little message over here. You are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Today's soul actions, action for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? Today's mantra, I am worth of it all i am worthy of it all that's your mantra my dear libra i hope you liked this reading if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe bye oh my dear aquarius now you're next i'm going to get a quick message from your person to see how they're feeling guardian angels and spirit guides what messages do you have for my aquarius how is the person feeling so we have the two of wands so they may be planning to come see you or um they're busy planning things then we have the page of swords so this person could be stalking you on social media facebook uh youtube instagram wherever and then we have the ace of swords and so they're gonna come and tell you something maybe some plans that they've made and then we have the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck so you may not i have a few messages with the queen of swords you may not be feeling this person you may be mad at this person possibly now i'm going to get some messages from my deck um you could also just be an air sign a libra aquarius or a gemini yourself so let's see Lots of air mess, uh, lots of air here, but I do see someone planning and stalking you. So let's see what other messages we can get. Guardian angels and spirit guides, what other messages do you have for my dear Aquarius? So we have beautiful eyes. That's your message, okay? So I love your eyes. What other messages? So we have, I need help. We have, want to be naughty. Then we have Beware Toxic. And then we have Scrub No Car. And then at the bottom we have Gay. Okay, for some of you, this person could be gay. Um, they may be toxic. They say they need some kind of help. They, do, they want to be naughty with you. Um, take that how that resonates. Now I'm going to get a message from your Garden Angels. Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for my aquarius what messages do you have for my aquarius okay so we have 
how can I deepen my trust right now? So some of y'all could be, you know, having some trust issues. Then we have a little message in the back. It says, trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action. Let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. I hope you like your reading, my dear curses. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Bye. Geminis. Hello, my dear Geminis. I will be getting a message on how your person is feeling. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, how is my Geminis person feeling at this moment? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, how is Geminis person feeling at this moment? We have the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> so your person may be having some really um, love emotions, okay? We have the Four of Cups. Someone may be feeling neglected. Um, they may feel like, yeah, they may be feeling neglected or someone here is rejecting that cup of love. Or they feel like you're rejecting their cup of love. Let's see. Then we have the Ace of Wands. They want a hot new beginning. Hot, hot, hot. If you know what I mean. And then at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with someone who has money. Or is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Guardian Angels, Spirit Guides. What other messages do you have for my Geminis? Now I'll be using my deck. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do you have for my Geminis? Two more messages. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have um, Infertile. So, someone could not, could possibly not be able to have kids. Then we have Narcissist, Narcissistic. Then we have um, Talking to My Family About You. Celibate, health issues, and online dating. Okay, so take those messages, how that resonates. Now I'm going to get you a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides. Guardian angels and spirit guides, what messages do you have for my Geminis today? So we have, what are the dominant emotions that run your life my life so it says we have a little message in the back it says how do you fool your day stress or joy trust or anger anxiety or peace we have only today right now the journey no goal no destination will bring us the feeling we seek but when we begin feeling every day with that which we value most we will attract more of it and this is fulfillment Today is soul action. Lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? <clears throat> so, my dear Geminis, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Lexi Sarah Kareem. Bye. Bye. Hello, my dear Sagittarius. I'm going to get a quick reading, a quick message from your person. Guardian Angels, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius? So we have Knight of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Then we have um, the Queen of Wands. You could also be dealing with the, another fire sign, fire sign Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And last but not least, we have the world card. So you may have entered something here or you may be at a long distance with this person. I feel like this person is coming slowly but surely towards you. Um, and then we have the six of wands. So they want some kind of victory with you, my dear Sagittarius. All right. Let's see what other messages we can get from your person using my deck. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What other messages? Spirit guides, what messages do you have? For my 
Sagittarius. So we have one card fell. Hot, you are sexy. Then we have hate this long distance. Just like I was saying, like there is a dis distance between y'all. One more card. One more card. Sex only wanted to come out. So just be aware. And then we have bipolar. So this person could be bipolar. And then we have um, at the bottom of the deck, we have beautiful eyes. Okay, so take that how that resonates. Now I will be getting a message from you, Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what message do you have for my dear Sagittarius? We have, to whom am I comparing myself right now? And then we have a little message in the back. What are you able to see in another if only visible because it is within you? Ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating. Thank you, my dear Sagittarius. I hope you enjoy your reading.